Average Guy Cigar Channel here with a cigar company review. Thank you, Will, for that wonderful introduction. Jerry and Will, Average Guy Cigars. Uh, normally, this is the point where I tell you what we're smoking and how we like it and all that stuff. Tonight's going to be something a little different. Uh, this week, in an effort to sort of expand our horizons and look at different things, I opted to order some cigars from a company in Florida that I never ordered from before. Placed the order. They said it's going to be seven days delivery, whereas the company we normally order from is two or three days. I can live with that. It's going to be a little longer. The next day, a person from their company called me who was not a native English speaker. That's not a problem for me. But he said I was going to get 20% off the next order. I thanked him for that. He needed his supervisor had to confirm that. And she came on and explained to me that I had just joined a cigar club. And they were going to send me cigars the 30th of every month and charge my credit card for it. I explained to her about five times that I never, ever, ever gave them the authorization to, to do that. And I did not wish to be in the cigar club. So, if you live in a small town like we do and there's no cigar shop handy and you have to order stuff online, great, good for you. What I would recommend is place a small order at more than one vendor, figure out who you like, figure out who you don't like, and stick with the ones that you do. Now, I know this is a common sense thing, but since I had the issue with it, I thought I'd share it with the uh, folks that watch the channel. Uh, don't know very many of you, have met some of you, but I would consider you folks watch us all the time. You looked at us for a little, little, bit, little insider advice or, or what we're doing and what we're not doing. What I'm not doing is ordering from that company in Florida again. Okay, Will, you got anything to add to that? I've noticed that a lot of times when I buy stuff, I typically buy my accessories from places like Amazon and they come from a third party vendor through Amazon. Like your lighter that I bought, I bought from a cigar shop in Florida, a different shop than you're talking about. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it's just, each shop's a little different. Each one has some slightly different rules. So just be careful where you buy from. And this is one of the bigger companies. I mean, they send out catalogs and online stuff and they're, they're a bigger company. So just sort of be careful when you buy. You, know, you may want to hold back from placing a big order and watch out for the cigar club thing. And if you don't know what you want, you had not learned it from our channel and you had not picked up from a friend or at your local cigar shop what you want, maybe the cigar club thing is for you. Uh, we tend to buy samplers that are like pairs of cigars, like 10 cigars with five pairs, so we can do the videos for you guys. So just a little insight on what I ran into, maybe save you running through, going through the same trouble. So thanks. Uh, click like at the bottom screen, send us any questions or comments you got. We appreciate it and see you next time.